I would say that they have almost every skill, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, an agent knows how to build rapport, right? One of the most important things about being an investor is when you get face to face with that seller, getting them to know, like, and trust you. So, you know, agents have a ton of expertise with that. Um, agents also have a ton of expertise of determining what the value of a property is. So most agents can do a little bit of research before they head into the property and have a good de idea after walking through the property of what it would sell for on the market in the current condition, which then leads them to make, you know, an educated, it gives the seller an educated idea of what they would get today if they were to list the home versus what the price, you know, would sell to an investor would be. Um, you know, they also, a lot of them have the ability to generate leads. So as an investor, we're generating motivated seller leads. Agents are doing the same thing. So for the most part, agents already have, you know, in their back pocket, all of these tools. But where I see, you know, the, the biggest misstep is when they meet that person, that one out of 10 or one out of eight to 10 sellers that really should sell to an investor and they really push for the fact that it should be a listing when it really shouldn't. And so to me, it, it never really makes sense why all agents aren't investors to some capacity because they do have all the tools already.